What's up everyone, welcome back to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron and these are some exciting times because we're going to be checking out the new album Children of the Great Extinction by the band Becoming the Archetype. It has been about 10 long years since we've heard anything from the Georgia native metalcore band. Their debut album from 2005, Terminate Damnation, is still one of the best progressive death metal albums to this day in my personal opinion. And after they had really good success with three more albums after that, their vocalist slash bassist Jason Wisdom would leave the band to start a new project titled Death Therapy. Chris McCain would then become their new vocalist on their last album from 2012 titled I Am, along with the new bassist and a new drummer. The overall sound of the entire band changed, but they still created an absolutely fantastic record. The band would then go on hiatus for about 10 years with everybody just kind of doing their own things. Uh, Seth, the guitar player and the guy who does the keyboard, would become a... a I believe he's a pastor now, I think. I'm not completely sure. And of course, Jason Wisdom was still doing stuff with death therapy. So it just didn't look like, I mean, they were on hiatus, but it didn't look like anything was ever going to happen again just because they're all doing their own thing. But then just a few months ago, uh, they deleted almost everything off of their social media accounts, mostly like Instagram. And then they dropped a new single, something like I said, I never, I never expected it. And I would check their social medias almost like four times a month at least just hoping for any signs of life which now brings us to children of the great extinction the album opens up with the song the dead world which really gets the energy up and it has like this kind of inspirational quality to it the vocals are fantastic as is the guitar melody and the cleans in the chorus are very unique and quite catchy the riff in verse two is just it is just absolute perfection. It is what dreams are made of. And then it rears its ugly head again in verse 3. The bridge is pretty ethereal while also like secretly building up into a really gnarly breakdown that has a very well-placed bleh thrown in there. The Lost Colony has a traditional becoming the archetype death metal intro to it with drum and vocal forward verses with an aggressive riff that kind of pops up every once in a while. The bridge is basically a build up into a really unique sounding breakdown. The music becomes more and more chaotic as we get to the outro, which has a really eerie melody to it. Then we have the song The Remnant, which has a heavy epic intro. The verses feel really slow thanks to the vocals, but the music definitely says otherwise. The pre-chorus has some cleans and like a flashy lead guitar melody. The chorus kind of has this weird transition where everything kind of cuts out and then it goes right back into it. And it has clean vocals with a strong synth and drums, and it sounds really good. Even though it's kind of weird, it still works out pretty well. Then there's like this interlude section that kind of takes place of a bridge, which this song doesn't really have. And I feel like a lot of these songs are kind of missing a bridge in there, but this one I feel like it definitely needed it. The calling starts out with strings in the intro, which I absolutely love, followed by a dark riff that joins in and plays right along with it. The piano makes this song feel pretty eerie before it erupts with some quick drums and some gnarly vocals. The riff becomes really groovy, and this whole song has like a really progressive feel to it as they go back to their death metal roots. The chorus has chanty clean vocals, but not like cheesy sing-along chanty clean vocals. It's a little bit more aggressive than that, and it adds... A lot more dynamics to the song. Then we have the song The Phantom Field, which is an instrumental song that's mandatory as the fifth song on every one of their albums. It's very beautiful and it's a it's just a fantastic classical piece of music. The next song, The Awakening, continues that classical vibe in the intro, but then it has a fat riff that joins in with some keys and a lead guitar solo that works really well. It's not overly flashy. It plays right along with the melody. It sounds so good. The vocals come barreling in as the song becomes really stompy and the chorus has like this same kind of haunting melody to it from the intro and it feels it, it just feels right bringing it right back in. This is another song that's just very progressive sounding. The lyrics are great at storytelling through metaphors and the vocals are just so powerful. And they really show in this song that Becoming the Archetype hasn't lost their ability to just write just a fantastic song. This is definitely my favorite song on the whole album. The Hollow starts out with a soaring guitar melody that gets taken over by a powerful riff. The pre-chorus has a lot of vocal presence to it. 
And the lyrics are pretty vulnerable as the chorus also doesn't hold anything back saying the world is hollow filled with hollow creatures. And then there's this instrumental solo-y thing that takes place at the bridge. But this time I feel like it works. It sounds so good giving the whole dynamics of the song. I feel like if they threw a bridge in there, it might be a little bit too overdone at that point. And then we have the song The Ruins, which features Ryan Clark from Demon Hunter, who <laughs> just destroys the entire song. It starts out with a sick drum passage and a dynamic riff in the intro. And the verse has a really, an, just another dynamic guitar part to it. And the chorus, it's not really what you would expect. It sounds so good. It's really just melt. It has like a Demon Hunter style chorus to it. It's almost like they let Ryan Clark kind of join in in the songwriting process of this. And again, there's no bridge, but I feel like the chillness and the chorus and just the ups and downs in the songs made it appropriate for this song to also not have a bridge in it. The song, the chorus jumps right into it with a verse that's quick and musically powerful. The vocals sound good, but I don't... The performance in the verse is probably my least favorite on the entire album. They got like this chanty thing with really low growls, which I mean, it sounds good, but I just wasn't really feeling it. The pre-chorus is really sick though, and the bridge has some of the best lows in this entire album before it kind of shifts into a really awkward sounding syncopated drum and guitar like chug passage. It sounds awkward but it doesn't sound bad. It just kind of throws you through a loop a little bit before it gets right back into the meat of the song. Then we have the closing track, The Sacrament. It's got this epic movie soundtrack intro to it and the main riff and the synth come in, but it still kind of keeps that vibe going. The lyrics are quite inspiring and the chorus has chanty vocals mixed with more gutturals, which again, I'm not really, I don't know. By this point in the album, I wasn't really feeling it all that much. The drums stand out a lot to me in this song as they kind of go from having blast beats and they have a lot of stops, making the rhythm in this song a lot more impactful. The bridge has some calming keys to it, but don't, don't relax too much because it's going to get right back into the aggression within just a few seconds. And honestly, by the time the third chorus came around, I wasn't really feeling it anymore. The chanty vocals, it just wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't really there. The outro has more keys and kind of monk style vocals happening. This is a solid closing track. It really makes this album feel complete. I enjoyed this song a lot, but I feel like I was just, I don't know, the, the chanting style vocals and the chorus to me by this point, I was just, I don't know, I, I'm not a huge fan of them anyways. You guys might like them, but to me, it kind of... It made me zone out a little bit because it kind of blended in with all the other songs that kind of had it. it made it feel too familiar. It wasn't really done differently from any of the other times that happened on the album. Overall, I absolutely love this album. This is becoming the archetype that we all love and we all remember. Uh, I feel like they've definitely evolved and they've changed and they matured in a really good way though mostly in terms of songwriting, but there's still a good mixture of their old school stuff mixed with the, the newer stuff that they left us with in 2012. The riffs, even on this album, have a really strong nostalgic feeling for me, and the overall music is just, it's just fantastic. And even the use of the keys and strings are masterfully done. This is personally the return that I was hoping for. I feel like fans will be very happy and satisfied with this. Let's just hope it's not another 10 years before we get another album. So with all that said, I gotta give Children of the Great Extinction by Becoming the Archetype a 8.8 .8 out of 10. But I wanna know what you guys think. This is one of my favorite bands of all time. I try not to be biased, but maybe uh, it's hard not to be. So leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this album, what your favorite song is, and what you would rate it. And while you're down there, don't forget to let me know what you want me to review next. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a like. If you wanna help support me, my channel and just make me feel good about myself please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon doing any of that stuff helps me out tremendously i'm only two subscribers away from being at 800 which is a huge goal of mine i never thought 800 people would care enough about what i have to say to actually subscribe to my youtube channel so i'm just blown away by that number and i hope you guys all have a good rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this and i will talk to you guys next time I was